Everybody and welcome back to another GTA 5 LS BDFR tutorial. Today we're going to teach you how to install replaceable police vehicles for your GTA 5 LS BDFR. Thank you all for coming by. If you guys are new to the channel, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell and smash that like button. Help this channel out. I'm going to help you install replaceable vehicles for GTA 5. So there's going to be a couple things that we have to do. I will link everything down in the description that I'm going to be clicking on so you guys could just scroll down. Click on it and just open it up and download what I'm downloading. So the very first thing that we are going to do is find out where our GTA 5 main directory is. So what you guys want to do is you want to go to Steam, go to Steam Library, go to Grand Theft Auto 5, right click on Grand Theft Auto 5, hit Manage and Browse Local Files. Again, right, Grand Theft Auto 5, right click Manage Browse Local Files. And you're going to see right here, it's going to pop up our GTA 5 main directory. So you see that I have an ELS folder in there. Today, we're going to also show you how to install ELS so your lights will work for your police vehicles. So we're going to go over here. Today, we're going to be downloading the CHP pack. So the CHP pack is the most downloaded pack on LSPDFR. And it's been downloaded uh, 659,000 times. Okay, so that means that th this pack right here, I've used it multiple times. It's a great pack. So we're going to go ahead and start off by installing emergency lighting system. So ELS is emergency lighting system. And what it does is makes it where your lights will work for the police vehicles that you're about to install. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right here where it says download this file. We're going to go ahead and download ELS. So let's click download. Let's go to agree and download. We're going to go up here to the very top where it says 1.05, the latest one. We're going to click download on that. I use WinRAR to open up my zip files. I highly recommend you guys get WinRAR. All you have to do, and I will link it down in the description if you need something to open up your zip files. It's W-I-N-R-A-R. -R. You could type that in your search bar. I will also link it down in the description. Um, so what we're going to do is open this file right here, this uh, file ELS 1.05. We're going to go ahead and open that up, and we're going to go right here where it says installation file. So I'm going to move that into the middle of the screen. We're gonna to go to installation files. We're gonna to go to Grand Theft Auto 5. And we're gonna take these four files right here. So we got three files and one folder. So we're gonna take these right here, open up our GTA 5 main directory. We're gonna take this download right here, drag and drop these three files over here. Just make sure you're not clicked on any folder. Click over here to the side, just like I did. So you're not hovered over any folder or clicked on any folder. So we're gonna go ahead and take these three files right here, drag and drop over here to the side, just like so. It's going to ask me to replace them due to the fact that I already have it inside my GTA 5 main directory. You guys will not have it, so just go ahead and drag and drop in there. And once it drag and drops in there, you guys will see an ELS folder. Okay, so now you have ELS in there. And remember, guys, these are mods. You cannot take these online. If you do take them online, Rockstar will ban you. You cannot take mods online. Rockstar does not play about that. So we're going to go ahead and X out of that. We are done with ELS. We have ELS installed. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and download the California Highway Patrol Mega Pack. So before you do that, you guys need to make sure that you have OpenIV. If you guys do not have OpenIV, you guys need to download it. And I will link this down in the description. So what we're going to do is click download now. And I'm going to walk you guys through the steps of that. So we're going to click open file. And we're going to open up OVI setup right there. All right, so it looks like we have another one running. I do apologize. And just like this, it's going to pop up like that. So you're going to see where it says English, okay? So you got English right here. And what we are going to do is we are going to go to continue. So whether you want Russian or English, I'm going to go with English. I'm going to click continue. And we are going to go ahead and, and, and hit I accept to the terms of this agreement. You guys are more than welcome to read through here, the user agreement. I'm going to click I accept to the terms of this agreement. I'm going to click continue. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go ahead and click continue again. I'm going to click yes. And what this is going to do is install OpenIV to our PC. Once that is done installing, we're going to go ahead and open it up. So it says installation OpenIV has been completed successfully. I'm going to click close. I'm going to go down here where it says type to search and I'm going to type in OpenIV. 
And you're going to see that now. You have an OpenIV app right here. We're going to open that up. And we're going to go to Grand Theft Auto 5 Windows. Okay, so I'm going to click Windows. And what it wants to know is where our GTA 5 main directory is. So if you guys go to where we already went, and if you guys close out of it, I'll show you again. You go to Steam, Steam Library, Grand Theft Auto 5, right-click on it, hit Manage and Browse Local Files. This is going to be your GTA 5 main directory. This is going to be your root. Yours is not going to be the same as mine. Yours will be totally different, okay? So this is your GTA 5 main directory, and the root is up here where my mouse cursor is. So you guys need to follow that. So we're going to go to Open IV. We're going to go right here, and we're going to click Browse. So click Browse. We're going to go over here, and it says Drive E. So I'm going to follow my path so you guys follow your path. So I'm going to go to Drive E right here. I'm going to go to Steam Library. So I'm going to go into Find Steam Library right there. I'm going to go to Steam Apps. Click on Steam Apps. And after Steam Apps, it says Common. So I'm going to go to Common. But then we're going to go over here where it says Grand Theft Auto 5. So I got it right here. I'm going to click on it one time. I'm not going to go inside the folder. I'm going to click on it one time where it's highlighted. I'm going to click Select Folder. And then you're going to see right here, it's going to have all green lettering successfully. Open IV can work with this file. So you did it correctly. It found your open uh, your GTA 5 main directory. Now what we're going to do is click Continue. So click Continue. Click Continue again. And Open IV is now going to start up for us. So I'm going to walk you guys through some steps for Open IV. So you guys make sure that you guys follow these steps so we can install these vehicles correctly. So it's going to go ahead and start up right here. And it's going to give you a little tutorial. You guys can watch that. I'm going to click no thanks. And what we're going to do, make sure you guys have a mod folder in here. So I do have a mods folder. If you guys do not have a mods folder, what you guys want to do is go over here to the side, right click, go to new and create a new folder in your GTA 5 main directory. So you're going to click new folder and you're going to name it M-O-D-S, all lowercase letters, M-O-D-S. So once you get that in, you're going to see right here, we go up to the top and it says edit mode. We're going to click edit mode. We're going to click yes. We're going to go over here to tools. We're going to go to ASI manager. In ASI manager, you guys are going to want to install all three of these right here. Okay, so install all three of them. Mine are all installed. Once you are done installing all three of them, you're going to go over here and you're going to go to your update folder. So you're going to double click on your update folder. You're going to go to X64, you're going to go DLC packs, and you're going to go in and scroll down. So the one that I use is patch day 25. This is the patch day that I use to install my vehicles. This is what I recommend you guys use. But um, we're going to go to patch day 25. I'm going to double click on it. I'm going to click DLC.RPF. And what it's going to ask is to show in mods folder, okay? So it wants to show, show in mods folder or copy the mods folder. Whatever it says for you, go ahead and either copy a mods folder or show in mods folder. So what you can do is just go ahead and hit that. So what we're going to do is go back up to the top to GTA V right there. We're going to go inside our mods folder. Okay, so click inside the mods folder. Go to update X64 DLC packs. And you're going to have, I have a lot more than what you guys have, but you guys are going to go to patch day 25. Inside patch day 25, you're going to see dlc.rpf. Double click on that, and then you're going to go to x64, and then you're going to go levels. You're going to go GTA 5, and then you're going to go vehicles.rpf. So I already have vehicles in here, and I'm going to show you guys what I have and show you what we're about to replace. So I got, for my police, I have Los Santos Police, okay? So I already have this vehicle in my game. And for police two, I will show you what I have. Another Los Santos vehicle, the 2020 Ford Explorer. These are mods. These are what I installed. And this is exactly what you're about to do. You're about to install vehicles. So you're going to see when we install this pack that we're about to install for the CHP, it's going to replace these vehicles. So I will have a lot more vehicles in mind than what you guys have. This is probably what you guys will see. So you see Banshee. You'll see Karuma. And you guys will also see the Sultan and Weevil. So all of them that I that I highlighted right there are probably what you guys see right now inside your folder. You won't see none of these other ones, which is perfectly fine. You guys are good. So 
now it is time and again make sure edit mode is on you'll see like a highlighted box that is around it as long as it is on now we're going to go ahead and download the california highway patrol pack the most downloaded pack on ls video fart we're going to click download this file so click download this file we're going to go right here and you have part two and you also have part one so there's two different parts to this pack it's a major pack so we're going to start off with part one i'm going to click download on it and we're going to go ahead and let that download again i use winmar to open up my zip files so we're going to go right here and we're going to go ahead and open this up right here okay so once it's done downloading we're going to go ahead and open it up so if you guys are having a problem where you cannot open up these zip files and say you did download winmar what you want to do is let this download and then you're going to go over here so it's about downloading there it is so it's download before i open it, i'm going to show you guys for those of you that just got winmar you want to go type here to search you want to type in downloads okay so go to your downloads and you're going to see the chp mega pack part one right there what you want to do is right click on it go to open with winmar or you could go over here with open with and you could go winmar right there so you can click the winmar one and open it up with that so the 2017 chp mega pack part one we're going to go inside this folder then we're going to go to installation files so you're going to see we have a 2006 crown vic a 2009 dodge charger some more crown vics bmw and also a ford expedition so what i'm going to show you guys how to do what to do is install these vehicles so if you go inside let's start with the 2006 crown victoria so i'm going to go right here and it's under sheriff okay so what we're going to do is we're going to drag and drop sheriff over here to our open iv just like so i'm going to drag and drop in there and you're going to see i'm going to double click on sheriff and you guys will see that we have our sheriff vehicle in here as the california highway patrol so i want to make this clear because a lot of people have this question a lot so a lot of people are like hey how can i switch my vehicles up to be in the patrol area that i'm in so let me explain this to you so the way that this works is you have police police two police three and police four so you see the ones that are highlighted you don't have them right now since you're just installing stuff but i'm just walking you over this step so police police two police three and police four are los santos patrol units so when you put it in here as a police car under police two police three police four they will spawn in los santos they won't spawn out in the county now, if you want vehicles to spawn out in the county, you will use Sheriff 2, Sheriff, and P Ranger. These are the three vehicles. Police Force sometimes spawns out there and drives around out there. But the main vehicles that will show up to your traffic stops is P Ranger, Sheriff, and Sheriff 2. So hopefully I didn't lose none of you when I just said that. But Sheriff 2, Sheriff, and P Ranger are the ones that spawn out in Blaine County. Out in the county when Sandy Shores is, Polito, all that stuff. Police, police two, police three, and police four spawn in the city. There is no police five. There's no nothing after police four. You can't put a car in here as police five because it will not spawn for you. But let's get back to installing stuff, okay? So we just installed the sheriff vehicle, which is the Crown Vic, but it also has the ELS file. If you look in here, it's going to say sheriff.xml. Some vehicle creators are different. So some vehicle creators actually have all four files in here or they'll have a whole ELS folder for a different one. So you will be able to tell that it's a ELS file because it says .xml, okay? So you see where it says sheriff.xml? So what we're gonna do is pull up our GTA 5 main directory. We're gonna go to that ELS folder that we installed. We're gonna go inside the ELS folder. We're gonna go to pack default. Inside here, I have a bunch of them because I have a bunch of police vehicles. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys right here what to do with this ELS file. So you want to take this ELS file, the sheriff.xml, because if you guys do not do this, your lights will not work on your car. And again, let me show you guys one more time. Grand Theft Auto 5 main directory, you got your ELS folder, you got your pack default folder. That's where this ELS file goes, the XML file. So we're going to drag and drop in here. It's going to ask me to replace it due to the fact I already have it. There we go. So we have that. So let's start moving on to the next vehicle. So the next vehicle that we have is a 2009 Dodge Charger Slick Top. 
which is going to be FBI. So let me show you this. FBI and FBI 2 are, you know, the FIB vehicles that you see inside the game, the unmarked um, Buffalo and the unmarked Granger. But if you look at mine, I already have vehicles installed. So FBI, I have a slick top Los Santos Ford Explorer right there, okay? So what we're going to do is replace that. So we're going to go right here where it says FBI. And let me double check over this. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys this. What you guys want to do is drag and drop FBI into your GTA 5 main directory. Just like so. So now if I go up here and find FBI, I'm going to click on it. And you can see now it is. And I know you guys see where the wheels are looking weird and stuff like that. That's just the way OpenIV is. When you get inside the game, it will be 100% accurate. It will work. The wheels will be there. Um, OpenIV is, this is just the way OpenIV is. It just doesn't show wheels and has different looks to it. So don't worry about that. Once you get inside the game, the car will be working properly. So we just installed the 2009 Dodge Charger right there. So. Let's go ahead and go over here to our ELS file. We're going to go right here where it says ELS. We're going to take that FBI file for the XML and put it in our pack default folder for ELS. So again, Grand Theft Auto 5 main directory, ELS pack default is where we want to put the XML file. That is for our lights for the vehicle. So I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to replace the file in the destination due to the fact that I have it. So if you guys seen that I just... When when I clicked on FBI the first time, it was a Ford Explorer. Now it is a Dodge Charger. So say you don't want this Dodge Charger no more. Just like I did where I replaced the Ford Explorer. All you do is find the files, drag and drop in here, and it replaces the last vehicle that you have in. Okay? So let's go ahead and go back, and let's find another vehicle. So we have the BMW, the motorcycle, and it's under Police B. So what I can do is I can drag and drop this in here. And we're going to go ahead and show you that. Police B right here. So that is going to be the BMW motorcycle right there for CHP. So we got that installed. Now we need to go into the LS file and go to policeb.xml. We're going to go back to our GTA 5 main directory. Again, go to ELS, go to pack default. And I'm going to keep doing this so you guys can get used to this. So I'm going to do policeb.xml. I'm going to drag and drop in there just like so. So now we have that in there and it didn't ask me to replace it because I don't have a motorcycle in as a mod right now, but now I do. So let's go in and start installing some more vehicles. So we're going to go over here and we're going to go ahead and install the 2013 Ford Expedition. So what I want to show you guys something, and I'm glad that it's FBI too. I want to show you guys this. So a lot of people, when they start getting used to installing vehicles, they don't pay attention to how many files they got. So if you look at this vehicle that we're about to install, it has three files, right? Three files. So if you look at FBI 2 for the vehicle I already have installed, right here, I'll show you it. We have a Polito Bay Chevy Tahoe right here, okay? So we have a Polito Bay Chevy Tahoe, and that's the vehicle that's under FBI 2. But I want to show you guys something. So FBI, FBI 2, so we got FBI 2, FBI 2, so we have two files right there, correct? But if I go down here also, click on FBI 2 and FBI 2, there's four files there. And if you look at what we're about to install, there's only three files. So you got to be careful with this, because if you drag and drop this over here, that one file, that one extra file that's for the other vehicle is going to overlap on this, this vehicle that you installed and could crash your game, Okay. So what we're going to do, since we have four files and this new vehicle we're going to put in only has three, we're going to delete the FBI 2 files, okay? So how you highlight them, you can click on it and then hit hold control and click on the next one. So FBI 2, FBI 2, I'm going to scroll up and I'm going to go to FBI 2, FBI 2. I'm going to right click and click delete. I'm going to permanently delete them out of there. So there's no more FBI 2 in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these three files, drag and drop in here. And now we have new FBI 2 files in here. So, and you can see is going to be the California Highway Patrol Ford Expedition. Sweet. So let's go ahead and move on. We got the ELS file. Let's make sure we put that in there. So I'm going to go over here to pack default. And I'm going to go right here and drag and drop this XML file into our ELS pack default folder. I'm going to replace it due to the fact I already have it. 
And now what we are going to do is start installing some more vehicles. Okay, so we have 2011 Crown Victoria K9. Um, sorry, I have a couple of one Crown Vic in. We're going to move on to the next pack. So I'm going to click Backspace right here. We're going to go right here and we're going to install part two of this pack. So I'm going to click download this file again. I'm going to go over here where it says part two. So you see part two right there. We already downloaded part one. I'm going to install part two of this mega pack. So I'm going to click download. I'm going to go ahead and let that download, and we're going to go ahead and open that file. And the reason why I'm going over all these vehicles is because I want you guys to get used to it. Because this is just the way it works, is you guys need to get used to it and make sure you're putting their files exactly where they belong. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up as soon as it is done, and we're going to go ahead and install part two. Now, not every pack that you're going to download has a part one and a part two. This right here is what they call a mega pack. So it has tons of vehicles that come with it. Now, other packs may have four vehicles and they only have one download for it. So we're going to go ahead and go inside part two right here. We just downloaded it. I'm going to go inside the folder. We're going to go to installation files. And we're going to go ahead and install the 2016 Ford Explorer. The 2014 Ford Explorer, correction, 2016 Ford Explorer is under police three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right here to where it says police three. I'm going to go in and click on that and show you guys what that is. So this is a Ford Explorer for Los Santos. Okay, I had a whole Los Santos pack in. We're going to replace that. So let me go ahead and show you guys how to do that. So what you guys want to do is take Police 3. And let's make sure before we go further is that there's no other Police 3 file. So there's only one down here and there's two up here. So three, only three files. And we only had three files with this new download. So what we're going to do is drag and drop over here. And I'm going to click on it and show you guys that we just replaced it. Okay, so we replaced my last mod with the new mod, which is the Highway Patrol Ford Explorer. So let's go ahead and make sure we put the ELS file in there. So we're going to go to Police 3. I'm going to go right here to Pack Default again. And I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop Police 3 in there. So let me teach you guys something real fast so you guys can see this. Okay, so Sheriff 2. Sheriff 2 right here, I'm going to double click on it and you're going to see the vehicle that I have in here. So I've seen Andreas State Troopers is based off of Alaska, but this is the vehicle that I have in here. I'm going to click X on this and what I'm going to do, let's see how many files there is. There's one, two, three. There's, yeah, so three files for Sheriff 2. So we're good with that. So say you wanted this, you know, this Ford Explorer, this 2016 Ford Explorer. Say you didn't want it as Police 3 and you wanted it as Sheriff 2. You guys can change it to Sheriff 2. So you go to right here where it says Police 3 and you can double click on it right here. Okay, so click on it once, then click on it one more time and it will make it where you can go in and change it up. So what you want to do, I'm going to highlight where it says Police 3. I'm not going to go any further than that. I'm going to delete where it says Police 3 and I'm going to type in Sheriff 2. Just like so. I'm going to go ahead and highlight this. I'm going to go ahead and copy this. And I'm going to go ahead and click down here. So now we just changed the name of this file. I'm going to go right here where it says Police 3. I'm going to change this one and make it Police Sheriff 2. So I'm going to go down to the very bottom one. And I'm going to name it Sheriff 2. Just like so. I'm going to drag and drop Sheriff 2 over here. Remember, it was a Tahoe for San Andreas Troopers. So I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop over here. Now we're going to click on Sheriff 2. You guys will see right there, it is now the Ford Explorer. So if you don't want it as the, what it has is set as, you guys can change it. But make sure you change your ELS file too. So I'm going to go ahead and change this up where it says Police 3. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. I'm going to go ahead and paste this, Sheriff 2. I'm going to go to my Pack Default folder right here. I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop that in there. Just like so. Replace file in destination. Okay. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one. We have a 2015 Dodge Charger. We got Slick Top and the one with the light bar up top. This one is Police 2. So let's check Police 2. So we have one, two, three Police 2 files. No more than that. And if we look at the vehicle we're about to install, it only has three files too. So we're good. So what I'm going to do is take Police 2. I'm going to drag and drop over here. And if we look at Police 2, you can see is now the Dodge Charger right there for the CHP. 
We're going to go up here to the ELS file. We're going to take police to. We're going to go ahead and go to pack default. We're going to drag and drop into here, replace and file and destination. Once you guys get used to this, I promise you it'll be a walk in the park. You guys will be flying through it. You'll just install vehicles and be right in your game. Me, I'm taking it slow just so I can show you guys so I go through every step. So let's see what 2015 Tahoe is. So that's going to be Sheriff 2. We already replaced Sheriff 2. We got Harley Davidson Electric Light. So we already installed a police bike, but say we wanted the Harley Davidson instead of the BMW. So you see where it says Police B? So you can see right here it says Police B. Let's click on that. So we just installed this. This was the BMW that we just installed. But you know what? Let's just put the Harley Davidson in there. So I'm going to go with Police B. I'm going to drag and drop over here. Just like that. I'm going to go to Police B. You guys will see now it is a Harley Davidson. We just changed it up. And we're going to go over here to ELS config. And we're going to take that XML file. Put it in pack default. So we're going to drag and drop over here. Replace file and destination. All right. So let's go ahead and move on and install another vehicle. So we got the 2013 Ford F350, which will be under Sheriff 2. Got the... So say I wanted the F350 to be, instead of Sheriff 2, I'm going to make it P Ranger. So let me show you what I have under P Ranger. I have San Andreas Troopers right here with a four-wheeler in the back. I'm going to change that. I'm going to put it as the CHP one. So I'm going to see how many files I have for P Ranger. There's one, two three so three files for p ranger so we're good on that i'm going to go right here where it says share two and i'm going to change the name of this i'm going to name it p ranger p ranger i'm going to go ahead and copy this i'm going to go right here and we're just going to do what we did on the ford explorer i'm going to change the entire name of it we're going to make it P Ranger. P Ranger stands for Park Ranger. So the Park Ranger vehicles that you see in the game, this replaces it. So we're going to go right here. We're going to drag and drop over here. Now we're going to check out P Ranger. I'm going to go right here where it says P Ranger. And now you see we now have the California Highway Patrol F350. Yep. So the F350 right there. So I'm going to click X on that. We're going to go right here where it says ELS file. We're going to go where it says share two. I'm going to go ahead and change that up and make it p ranger and we're going to go over here and go to pack default and we're going to change we're going to put that in there and replace the file so again i know you guys are going to ask like why is there not police five or anything these all these police one uh, or police police two police three and police four as is it police four is as high as it goes for the city units you can't put a police five in there you're not able, and they're out in the county. There's only Sheriff and Sheriff 2. You cannot put Sheriff 3 in there because it will not spawn for you. Um, these are just the names for the default police cars that are inside the game. So there's nothing more than the Sheriff, Sheriff 2, Police, Police 2, Police 3, and Police 4. There's FBI and FBI 2. There's Police Old and Police Old 2. So you can see right there I have files under them. So police old two is as high as it goes. So police old one, police old two. And then you also have um, police bike. Okay. So um, there is also transport. I believe it's police T. Um, so hopefully I didn't lose you guys on that. I do apologize. You guys can also replace the ambulance. And that is named ambulance. Um, so we're going to go back and we're going to install another vehicle. So 2013 Ford Explorer is under Police 3. Let's see what we have under Police. So Police is another Ford Explorer. Police 2 is the CHP Charger. Police 3 is the 2016 Ford Explorer. What do we have as Police 4? So Police 4 is going to be another Ford Explorer. I'm going to replace that. So if I take Police 3, I'm going to replace the other Cruiser that I already put in, and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and name it police four. So I'm just going to delete the three and make it a four. And what we're going to do is highlight that copy. And we're going to go ahead and do this. Click paste. And we're going to go right here. Click paste. Just like that. And now it is police four. Let's see how many police four files we have. So one, two, three. 
So we're good on that. We don't have four files, so we don't have to delete nothing. Uh, I'm going to take police for drag and drop over here. And now that is going to be. That is going to be a 2013 Ford Explorer right there. I'm going to make sure I change the name up on this. I go to ELS file and we're going to change it up to police four, just like so. And we're going to drag and drop over to our pack default folder, just like this. Bam. From our place to file and destination. So I feel like I walked over a lot of the stuff with you guys. Hopefully you guys are good and um, you guys understand everything. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up the game and show you guys how to get the vehicles and what the vehicles look like. So, All right, so now we're going to go over here to my web browser and we're going to install Script Hook V. And again, I will link all this down in the description. What we're going to do is download Script Hook V. You need Script Hook V for the lights to work for ELS. So what we're going to do is click download on this. So all you have to do is scroll down here and click download. So I'm going to click download on that and we're going to go in and open up script hook V. Just like so. We're going to go inside the bin folder. We're going to go inside the bin folder and we're going to take these three files that you see right here. We're going to open up our GTA 5 main directory and make sure you're on the GTA 5 main directory and not in the ELS pack default folder. Just make sure you're on the actual up here at the top where it says Grand Theft Auto 5. Make sure you click at that. And what you want to do is take this download right here for script hook V to make sure your lights work. You want to drag and drop into your GTA 5 main directory. Just like so, I'm going to replace the files due to the fact I already have them. Now we're going to jump inside GTA 5. We're going to show you how to go ahead and spawn the vehicles, what the vehicles look like, and how to use the ELS system. So let's go to Rage Plugin Hook, double click on it, and let's go ahead and open that up, and we're going to jump inside the game. Okay, guys, so now that we're inside GTA 5, there's a couple ways that you can get these vehicles spawned in. One, you could go to the police station and actually go to your police garage and have them spawned in. Or you can use the F4 menu that is provided by LSPDFR. Hit F4, type in spawn, and we're just going to spawn in police 3. So we're going to spawn in police 3. So what you want to do is type in spawn space police 3. Hit enter. And then hit F4. And if you look in front of you, okay, so let me look in front of me. We do have that vehicle there. So, what you guys want to do to use your police lights with ELS now, you guys want to hit the letter J on your keyboard. The letter J as in James. So, if you hit it once, it's going to be stage one. If you hit it twice, it's going to be stage two. And if you hit it three times, it's going to be stage three. Okay, so you can see right there, we are full stage three right there. If you guys want to use your sirens, you guys can hit the number one on your keyboard above Q. You get number two, number three, number four, or you can hit one and hit one again, or hit two and hit two again to turn the siren off. Um, so that is how you turn your lights on and turn your siren on. Okay. So let me walk you through the backup system. Okay. And again, I know we were talking about police 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 two police three and police four we're in los santos right now so if i if i call in backup right now so say i want a backup unit say i go to police radio and or i just call in a backup unit so i could just call a patrol unit and hit enter assistance required in Elysian island so i'm gonna have a patrol unit show up on me so whatever vehicles i made police Copy police that, two police three and police four are going to be city units okay and they're going to spawn in now i still kept police as the los santos police right there okay so you can see right there the los santos police is showing up because i kept it as police I've got you now six, buddy. let's go out to the county real fast i'm going to show you right here so we did replace all the county vehicles so what i'm going to do is i'm going to release them units i'm going to go out to the county real fast so let me go out here to the sandy shores i'm going to go ahead and hit we go right here to my little menu, which is called Simple Trainer. I do have a tutorial for that if you guys want Simple Trainer. So I'm out here in the county now. So if I hit the, if I, if I call in a backup unit right now, you're going to see it's going to show as California Highway Patrol as soon as I hit it. Backup required in Sandy Shores. So watch the vehicle that shows up right here. So whatever I replace Sheriff and Sheriff 2 as, they're going to respond here in the system. So you're going to see they're coming right now. And they're going to be showing up as the... I'm going to hold backspace down. Perfect. So they're going to show up with a California Highway Patrol vehicle. 
because of the fact that I replaced Sheriff and Sheriff 2 as the CHP cars. So Covering like I said, fire. in the county, it's P Ranger, Sheriff, and Sheriff 2. If you're replacing vehicles and you're patrolling out in the county, in the Blaine County, they will spawn as them vehicles out in the county. So Sheriff and Sheriff 2 and P Ranger will back me up out here. Now, if I'm in the city, police, police 2, police 3, and police 4 will back me up in the city. And then are the names of the vehicles. Hopefully, I don't have any of you confused. I'm trying to explain it the best way I can. I do apologize. Um, so, you guys can see that right there. So, say we don't want this vehicle no more. You guys can easily, you know, type in F4. And we can type in Spawn Sheriff 2. Or we'll just do Sheriff since it was just a Crown Vic. You know what? We'll spawn in P Ranger. So we type in Spawn P Ranger. Just like this. Hit enter. And hit F4. You're going to see we now have that F350 right here. Okay. So that's how you spawn in your vehicles. Again, hit the letter J to use your uh, turn your lights on. And some vehicle packs only make it where you can hit J once. And it only had stage 3. But these ones actually have three different stage lightings. So if you hit J once, that's stage one, stage two, and stage three. So you can see our lights are on. And there you guys go. You guys now have these vehicles inside your game. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it down in the comments. I really do appreciate you all coming by. And uh, we are going to go ahead and end it here. And uh, don't forget to definitely smash that like button if this helped you out. And you guys got these awesome vehicles inside your game. I know this video took forever. I do apologize. But I'm only trying to teach you guys and help you guys the best that I can. And the only way to do that is to show you step by step on how to do it. And how to get these vehicles in your game. Thank you all for coming by. If you have friends that want to do this, definitely share the video out. And uh, we'll see you all in the next one. Let's <laughs> go.